Scorpio, welcome to your general reading. I hope you're well. I hope you're fabulous. Before we get started today, a little PSA. I wanted to talk to you. A subscriber uh, sent me an email with a link to a Scorpio Collective reading, not from my channel, from someone else's channel, and said, this, this isn't right, is it? So I watched it. It's about 30 minutes. If I were to summarize, it was 30 minutes of outwardly aggressive, but passively aggressive sign bashing. Which, if you are around my channel, you know I'm not big on. As a tarot reader, you have a responsibility to all 12 collectives to understand their energies as best you can. Okay? Where they're coming from, why? Especially if you see problems. More so, if you see problems. Okay? And this was clearly 100% aimed at negativity at Scorpio, okay? It was upsetting. It was upsetting because, first of all, the energy was grossly misinterpreted. But they continued to throw things in in a very passive manner that suggests the whole sign is garbage. It was upsetting because it was a classic example of very bad tarot reading. And this person has a couple hundred thousand subscribers. So the potential for far-reaching damage was there. Is there. All I had to do was scroll down to the comments to see the reaction. You're so right. I hate my sign. I hate myself. I wish I wasn't like this. There's just something so wrong with me. I am the cause of my own problems. This is why nobody loves me. 100% unacceptable. I wanted to tell you this because you, of course, are my largest collective by far. And I want you, which, and I thank you for that, like always, your support is phenomenal and it means the world to me. I felt the need to impress these points upon you. Okay, because your energy, like a couple of other folks, Aries, Taurus, is often misinterpreted already. Never mind what looks just was unparalleled negativity piled on top of that. I often see two types of tarot readers. Some of them are in the middle ground, firm but fair. That's where they should be. Okay? But I often see two types of tarot readers on YouTube, and I don't watch them because everything about their work tells me everything I need to know. And that is, they either kiss a collective's ass in order to generate positive views, or they bash them in order to do the same. Because even negativity can generate views, so long as you are generating some sort of controversy. If it feels like either of those extremes, it's wrong. If you feel like this is just blowing smoke up my ass and they're telling me everything I want to hear, you are correct. This makes me feel really, really bad. And I don't understand why. I don't understand the ripping on the collective. I, 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 where is this coming from? Correct. That is also wrong. We should be in a place of firm but fair. Because as you know, if you watch me or my channel, my motto, my creed, Real terror reflects real life. Shit's gonna get real. I see difficult things all the time, as you know. And I can get very caught up in a message, as you know. Okay? I am like you. I am emotional. I am also emotionally loyal to all my collective energies and protective of them. So even when I see difficult things, and I will, I do my best to understand them from a place of sincerity and sympathy. Oh yeah, things can get hard, but that is no excuse to ever bash a sign or make anyone feel bad about themselves. How do you know? Okay. How can you tell the difference between, hey, here's some stuff that's going on, Scorpio. Let's talk about it. Let's address it versus bashing. One makes you feel bad and you can't understand and articulate why. That, my friends, is abuse. And that's not just tarot readers, honey. 
No, no, no. That's anybody. That's mom. That's dad. That's your brother. That's your sister. That's your husband. That's your wife. That's your lover. Anyone who makes you feel bad and you can't understand why. But you have a sense of disapproval without any reasonable explanation. That is abuse. It was appalling. Basically, if I were to summarize again that 30 minutes, it was passive aggressive. The insults were so easily interwoven into that message, it created that space of bewilderment and feeling bad about oneself. This is unacceptable. If you're going to be firm, you better be fair. And you need to damn well understand where that energy is coming from. But yeah, it was 30 minutes pretty much of Scorpio. <laughs> what can I say? All your problems are your fault. But hey, that's your sign. Your sign's pretty much garbage. Don't gravitate towards that. Don't feed into it. That's what energetic exchange is. You give as much power to anyone in your life as you allow, and that includes your tarot reader. Don't feed the monster. Someone is either helping you or they're hindering you. Know which one you're going to feed your energy to. I get intense, as you know, as our sign is <laughs> well known for. But I'm also sincere and I'm sympathetic. The same firmness and sympathy I would show you is toward any of my collective energies. Be careful who you feed your energy to, please. The comments were in line with the nastiness of that message. That person generated the very energy that they were trying to create. Those comments were unacceptable. No one should be made to feel that bad about themselves. Be careful. Please. We have a responsibility here. Okay? You either feel like your energy is cared for or it's not. And that is true with any relationship you have. It was very upsetting. An excellent example, of course, of firmness and fairness. We all know who she is, Ali's Tarot. She's brilliant. Brilliant example of that, firm and fair. She treats all her collective energies the same. And when she sees bullshit, she says it. And when she sees good things, she says it. And when she sees hard things, she tries to relate them back to you as best as she can. Those are the good readers. So you take that with you. Okay? Let's get started with your reading. I love you. Okay? <sighs> Wanted to give you that heads up. Okay. Show me who I need to see, please. Show me who. <laughs> who in the Scorpio Collective are we reading today? Show me, Scorpio. What is going on? Uh -oh. For that Scorpio energy. Five of Swords, Nine of Wands for some of you. Okay. What's going on for that Scorpio energy, please? What's up? What's going on for that Scorpio Collective? The High Priestess. Yes, you are. The Wheel of Fortune. Oh, yes. <laughs> Ace of Wands. That's nice. That's very nice. Your intuition is kicking off. At least in the recent past it is. Some of you feel or anticipate change coming. Seems to be positive. You seem to be gravitating towards something. Okay? Inspirational. The light of the pathway. Passionate. Interesting. Intriguing. Engaging. Some of you feel it. You feel that wheel of fortune turning. Will you influence that wheel? As I believe I told Taurus a couple weeks ago, that wheel of fortune is like a hinge. You have say. Sometimes the change is brought upon us. Sometimes we are the makers of change. 
The intuition back here tells me you already have a feeling. Like your spider senses are kicking off. Ace of Wands. Looks good. Looks positive. Who is surrounding? There may not be. This is interesting. But uh, this might be situational, circumstantial. Ace of Wands isn't always what we think it is. Okay. Show me what I need to see, please. Who is surrounding? Who is surrounding? Scorpio, please. Who is surrounding Scorpio? Three of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, Knight of Pentacles. All right, now, well, you know, it's nothing underlying as the Four of Wands. Okay, we got some sort of working structure here. Your person's energy suggests friendship, acquaintanceship, also the beginning structure of something with a promise of possibly a stronger foundation. Kind of depends. These things can often start as friendship, cooperation, collaboration, co-working, that kind of thing. But a lot of little things in common and a willingness to try, right? But we have some Queen of Swords energy. Sharp mind, I'm sure. They might be very critical. They might be a little withholding of their emotions. We shall see. But Knight of Pentacles, some slow moving energy. Again, I'm not getting too much off this person. I need to clarify. Obviously there's energies what's being presented on the surface and then it's going to go deeper than that. Um, but something here, it's happening. It is happening. It's just kind of slow. <laughs> or at least their energy suggests that it might be warming up. <laughs> their energy might be warming up. We shall see. We shall see. Okay, show me that shared energy if there is any. This could be a brand new person. I don't know. Shared energy, please. Show me that shared energy, please. Show me that shared energy, please. Interesting. You got my attention. Eight of Pentacles. So yeah, you two have some sort of working construct with each other. Eight of Pentacles. King of Cups. Yeah, Ten of Wands. I don't know where this strain is coming from, but there is emotionality here. There is love here. There is. But it's like we're not in a place... At least they're not in a place where they can come forward with it. Not at this time. They tend to have a kind of reserved disposition or reserved personality. A little bit on the slower side of things, too. But there is a sort of working energy between you two. It's practical in nature. You two might literally work together. We have a King of Cups here, though. You both share similar heart spaces. Okay, that could just be you. But Ten of Wands, there's a strain here. We're going to see what's up with that burden. But um, it's interesting. It's interesting. You seem to be on the verge of change for the positive, okay? Or at least that's what your energy is suggesting to me at this time. Show me that overview, please. Show me that overview, please, for Scorpio energy. Show me that overview, please, for Scorpio energy. not OCD. It's standards. Okay. Page of Swords. Keeping an eye on things. Trying to learn. I need more, man. I need more from the energy. What's going on here? What is going on here? It's like you both are playing hide and seek. Okay. With uh, what you're experiencing. You seem to be on the verge of change. Let's see how receptive you are to that. Again, you're fixed. So you might be feeling it. You may not be ready for it. We'll see. Ace of Wands suggests you're going to try. Um, but yeah, there's something about energy here that's conservative, I would dare say. Like we're playing hide and seek with our emotions and a connection that we are experienced with to some extent. Show me that uh, page of swords, please. We're going to start right here. The Botticelli. Show me that page of swords, please. Show me that page of swords, please. Show me that page of swords. Nope. Show me that page of swords. If you're new to my channel, prefer it when they fully flip or hit the table like so. There we go. See, it's kind of reflecting right here on your line. The Fool. Over that page of swords. You are learning page of swords. This is the only page that admits it doesn't know everything. 
hence the sword. I'm trying to learn. Some of you are trying to learn how to open up, be the fool, okay? New chapter energy, taking chances particularly, okay? So it's not really about change so much as taking chances with that fool energy. It's a spiritual thing. It's a spiritual calling. It tells us to get up and get outside the house, okay? Start something new. Go on a new adventure, okay? Stuff's going on, Scorpio. Wake up. Wake up. Shake off the dust. Okay, get out the door. Scorpio's like, I'm thinking about it. <laughs> With the page of stuff. I'm thinking about it. Let's see what you're trying to open up towards. This also suggests that. What are we trying to open up towards, please? What are we trying to open up towards, please? Well, I'm warming up to it. Okay. I'm warming up to change. I'm warming up to taking a chance. All right. I'm warming up to it. I'm thinking about it. Andrew Energy said, I thought about it and no. <laughs> I, was like, I thought about it though. I did for like two seconds. I thought about opening up and taking a chance and taking a risk in love and opening my heart up, but I said no. Ultimately, it's a no at this time. Okay. <laughs> okay. We'll see why. You don't seem to be receptive to it. I know it crossed your mind. <laughs> I can see that it crossed your mind, but uh, we're not in a place where we can own that new chapter energy, that fresh start, taking a chance, taking a leap of faith, taking a risk. You're just not in that space, not yet, okay? However, your energy is saying it feels like something's coming, whether you want it or not. So let's take a look at that. Show me the High Priestess. Oh, your intuition is talking to you, honey. What's it saying? Show me that High Priestess, please. It's like, check back with me later. This is... No. <laughs> Show me the High Priestess, please. Show me the High Priestess, please. The moon. Oh. So you can't access your intuition at this time. Why? Why? Why can't you access your intuition, Scorpio? Why is it under the moon? Is this what you're telling yourself? What's going on? Eight of Wands, and yet there's communication here. What is that communication telling you? tower. <laughs> I got news for you, honey. Um, you may not want change to happen, but it is happening. Okay. Your intuition's in a place where you can't quite access it, the moon, and yet you're receiving signals and things from the universe that something's happening. It's like, energetically speaking, you're not trying to deal with this idea of change, or you're not trying to hope for it, or you're not trying to think about it. Your intuition's under the moon. It's like, I don't... No. 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 We're not doing change right now. <laughs> it's it's going to happen anyway. You're receiving signs and signals and actions and communications from the universe, people around you, your environment seems to be shifting a little bit. So it's evoking change whether or not you feel you're ready for it or you insist that you can't feel that you're ready for it. Because you're insisting... You're not ready to open up. You're insisting you're not ready to change. And yet you're receiving multiple signals from the universe that it's exactly that time or something's going to happen. Okay. As I said, that Wheel of Fortune is often two things. We have influence. We do have say. But we often have change brought upon us. And then there's other times that we make change for ourselves. You, as a fixed sign, tend to be adverse to change unless it's under your design. Okay. And Scar's like, look, if I'm not ready for change, it's just not going to happen. Okay? When I want change, I'll bring change. Thank you. Well, I'm not trying to deal with this right now. And yet, you're receiving, many of you are receiving clear signals from the universe. Hey, Scorpio, pay attention. Something's coming. Something's coming. You're like, I'm not trying to feel that right now. Mm -hmm. Okay? We got some incoming communication, action, changing environment people around you signaling change references and you're like I'm not trying to hear that right now let's take a look show me that wheel of fortune please 
gonna go hide. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go hide. Mm. I'm gonna go hide. <laughs> Show me that wheel of fortune, please. Show me that wheel of fortune, please. Hmm. Show me that wheel of fortune, please. Seven of cups. What else, please? Ha! Yeah, something's shifting in the Wheel of Fortune. Seven of Cups and the Six of Cups. <laughs> yeah. We got some emotional development here. Okay. Something's changing in a connection. One that means something to you. Six of Cups wouldn't be here otherwise. Okay, it's a soul bond connection. Yeah. And it's kind of uh, picking up a little bit. Okay. Your emotional development with someone who is close to you is picking up a little bit. You went from a six to a seven. Okay. And I'm sure at times it can be emotionally overwhelming. All right, so back here, suggest to me, you says you can't sense it, you can't feel it, and yet the world around you is kind of shifting. It's, like I said, sign and signals for the universe, hey, Scorpio, pay attention. Things are shifting. I know you were like in a place where I can't, I can't deal with that right now, okay? Um, no, I'm not letting my intuition out to play. And yet, things are changing around you. It may not be dramatic, yet they are. And it's kind of like you want to remain oblivious to it, despite the fact that it's here. Because you are getting clear signals. Something's coming through. Okay? And um, it's like you don't want to acknowledge that. But specifically in your heart space, something's changing. Okay? The Wheel of Fortune. Um, seven of Cups, Six of Cups. You are experiencing some sort of emotional expansion to someone specifically who means a lot to you. Okay? And this is soul bond energy, of course it is. It's a unique energetic exchange you have with someone else that cannot be replicated. It's an energetic signature between two people, okay? Someone here who means a lot to you. Sometimes you get emotionally overwhelmed with them, all right? A little bit. You feel many things towards this person. But overall, I'm seeing expansion. You may not be aware that you're experiencing emotional expansion with someone who is close to you. Okay, things are kind of shifting in that direction. Your heart might be opening up more than you seem to understand at this time. It's one of the things that I believe the universe is trying to signal to you. Spirit, or whatever you want to call it. Okay, okay, let's see it. Let's see that Ace of Wands. Show me that Ace of Wands, please. 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 Five of Pentacles. Okay, what else, please? What else, please? Six of Swords. Mm hmm. Queen of Cups tried to pop out, that's you. Can I get a better understanding as to why, please? Okay. Okay. Five of Pentacles, Six of Swords, Knight of Wands, Ace of Wands. You are being presented something that is kind of powerful. It speaks to you. You're trying to move away from it, particularly your passion for it. And you do have passion for this. You have a certain level of heat and intensity for whoever represents the Six of Cups to you. Okay? That's exactly what you're trying to leave behind. I don't quite know why yet. 
but you're trying to separate yourself from the passion of this connection. It burns kind of bright and you respond to it with that same level of intensity, but you're also telling yourself, I got to break from it, move forward. I'm not saying you're breaking from this connection. You're trying to separate the passion from this connection. Okay, what it represents. Ace of Wands, Knight of Wands. Energetically, you react to it very strongly. Okay. Um, your heart space for this person seems to be expanding, but it's not in a place where you can hear it or acknowledge it. But it is happening. Okay. Um, and you're kind of receiving multiple signals from the universe that things are changing in your heart space. Okay. And in the future, it's going to become very bright or apparent to you at some point or for some reason, and you're trying to break from it. Okay. Literally, you're not allowing your passion to show in this connection, despite the prevalency of it. It's rather large, and it's burning very bright through my eyes. Okay. Um, you're trying to separate yourself from it. It's not that you don't feel it. On the contrary, you feel it too much. Or at least in your estimation, you feel it too much. Okay, for this connection. Typically, and this is a very Scorpio MO pattern, this is what I'm talking about, the difference between just saying something at random and actually interpreting the energy appropriately. Um, Scorpio, water and fire tend to go hand in hand. When you expand your water, you tend to expand your fire simultaneously. So, it's part of the intensity package. That's why we're so intense. We're not just water, we're also ruled by Mars, as well as Pluto. So, yeah, we're intense, and we have that combination of water and fire. You are shining bright for Ace of Wands. You have energy towards natural energy, too. It's organic. It doesn't go against your feeling and contrary. You're very much in line with it. And it's the very thing you're trying to separate from. Okay. And it's for a connection that you feel very strongly about. And it even seems to be expanding in your heart space, but it's kind of like you're trying not to acknowledge that. So, as your emotions for this person pick up, so too does your fire. Okay? And you're trying not to show it. But you burn brightly for someone who means a lot to you. And Scorpio's like, I can't have that. I can't have it. Move on. It's not that you want to, you're telling yourself you have to. Okay. Okay. Let's see the person surrounding. Let's see that person surrounding, please. Is that three of pentacles? Show me. Okay. Ooh, no hesitation on that one. Excuse me. Show me that three of pentacles, please. Show me that Three of Pentacles, please. One more. Show me that Three of Pentacles, please. Nope. Show me that Three of Pentacles, please. The person surrounding Scorpio. The person surrounding Scorpio, please. Three of Wands, over the Three of Pentacles, they look to you. They look to you. How or why, I don't know. But they also have or exude a certain level of hope for you, too. But it's under the guise of friendship. Okay? Cooperation, too. Three of Pentacles will always be a cooperation of energies. Okay? High compatibility, a lot of little things in common. The ability, or the potential, I should say, to expand. The Three of Pentacles is the first time we see stability in a working structure, hence the compromise, the working ability, little things in common, agreeability, friendship, okay. The idea is that it's a platform to spring into other things. So the Three of Wands is over that. This person's energy suggests, I, I look towards Scorpio's energy, I enjoy it, I like it, okay. Uh, there is communication here, there's also anticipation from this person Ace of Cups, they might have presented that opportunity as a potential new love. Okay, what else plays about this person? 
this person's energy, please, towards Scorpio. Show me. What else, please, about this person's energy? Ooh, now. Three, three, and three. We connect with this person. They literally look forward to your energy. Three of cups, three of pentacles, three of wands. So far, this is all manageable energy they're presenting to you. Fascinating. Your reaction to them. This person has a stable personality at this point. Okay? Consistent, too. Consistent. Not fussy energy so far. It's it's predictable, unobtrusive. And yet you react to it so strongly. Three, three, three. Three of wands, three of pentacles, three of cups. They literally enjoy connecting with you. They look forward to it. And it's on an emotional level. So it's more than just friendship then. You have that cooperation of spirit. I see it. You have a lot of little things in common with this person. You also have the possibility for growth with this person. Your reaction to them is, I can't, I can't feel that. I can't afford to feel those feelings. I refuse to use my intuition in this respect, right? And yet, you're being influenced with that Eight of Wands in the Tower. Small changes. Small changes. Okay? The universe is trying to get you to recognize your emotional reaction to this person. Okay. For you, it goes under the moon. Mm. 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 like, mm. -mm. <laughs> I, I'm not. No. 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 I will not acknowledge that emotional reaction towards this person. I won't. And you can't make me. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm laughing because. I know where it comes from. Trust me, I get it. <laughs> I get this. Trust me. I won't. I won't. I won't. I won't acknowledge those feelings for you. I won't do it. Mm -mm. You can't make me. I'll just stare at you. <laughs> I know. You're being protective, in other words, of your emotions. Do you know why you do that? Again, the difference between a good tarot reader and a bad one. Someone who can explain your energy to you without making you feel like shit for it. You are an emotional investor. You have one big damn cup that you walk around with. Did you ever notice the king and queen of cups hold one cup and approximately one cup? They don't have a bunch of little cups. No, no, no. They have one big cup. The ace of cups specifically. The emotional investor means that when I emotionally invest in someone, I take it seriously. Because once you start developing feelings for that person, you can't take them back. Okay? Scorpio is ride or die. We are loyal, even if it's at our own cost. Which is why we are so protective, which is why we are so weird, and which is why we can get so withdrawn. We understand that because we are so emotionally loyal, okay, because we have such strong feelings, because we are emotional investors, we have to protect our cup. And that's why so many people meet us with frustration. Okay? We can't just hand out our cup to anybody. Okay? Because once you're emotionally invested in someone, you tend to stay that way. Even if it hurts you. That's why. That's why we can be so guarded. That's why we be so secretive. Okay? That's it. It's really not that hard to understand. So I'm not accusing you. At all. What I'm saying is, is that you're protecting your feelings on purpose. The thing is, <laughs> here's the trick. It's not working. And I'll tell you why. The Wheel of Fortune is here saying, Hey, Scorpio, 
Six of Cups to the Seven of Cups. Despite your best efforts, honey. Your emotional heart space for this person is expanding, whether you want to acknowledge it or not. And that, my love, is real tarot. Okay. It's scary. It's scary. I know. It's scary. And that's why Scorpio can shy away. It's like, fuck, I know. I know I'm developing feelings. Fuck. Fuck. Wait, can we stop this? Can we pause this process, please? I gotta, mm, I gotta step back. I gotta step, we gotta pop, we gotta, press the pause button. <laughs> and that's what you're trying to do, baby. You're trying to press that pause button. Stop, stop. We're gonna shut this down right now. I'm not having it. I'm not, ha I'm not, no. Not only am I not having it, I refuse to acknowledge it. No, we're gonna, we're gonna press the pause button on these feelings. You understand me? Stop that emotional investing right now, Scorpio. We'll see why, maybe. I do know your fire's tied to this, as I've already explained to you. Okay? So yeah, you are developing feelings for someone that you see consistently and in a positive way. Um, like I said, their energy so far is very smooth. Three, three, three. That's lovely. It's consistent, right? So I know you've had consistent um, meetings with this person. I know, and they anticipate your energy too. They literally look forward to it, the Three of Wands. They like it, in other words. So I know you're seeing someone consistently, even if it's as friendship, and it was enough to generate feelings in you that you take to the moon space. Um, and yet, the activity here generated suggests, yeah, you've had emotional development. You're just not in that safe space where you feel you can acknowledge it or think that you can or should, that kind of thing, okay? All right, let's carry on. Show me this Queen of Swords, please, for this person. Strong mind. Oh, consistent. This person has very consistent energy, which is nice, honey. That's nice. Knights of Pentacles for the Knight of Pentacles. So far, they have very consistent energy. That's nice. I know you've seen the inconsistent energy, honey. I'll tell you that, too. Fragmentation all over the place. Show me that Queen of Swords, please. Show me the Queen of Swords, what's on this person's mind. Show me. Show me the Queen of Swords, please. <clears throat> Excuse me. Honey, it's not that you don't burn brightly for this person. It's just in your estimation you burn too much for them. Okay. And with that is your feelings. It's your fire. You know. So again, I don't want you to see that as a negative on you. It's something that you feel that you have to do. I'm not saying you broke the connection. I'm not saying you killed it. I'm not saying you walked away from it. What I'm saying is there's parts of yourself that you withdraw from this connection. Okay. Your passion is absolutely one of them. Okay. Show me that Queen of Swords, please. Show me that Queen, oh, show me that Queen of Swords, please. I told you, this person's got consistent energy. Very consistent. I appreciate that. Let me tell you. It's a break from the Emperor and Five of Swords. King of Cups with a Five of Pentacles. I mean, this person's energy so far is remarkably consistent. <laughs> that's nice. That is really nice. And that's, honey, I got news for you. That's, that's, oh. Oh, Scorpio. Is that what happened? Oh. Yes. There you are trying to attack those seven of cups. Like, I'm going to cut that shit out. I'm going to cut that shit out right now. Pause that shit. Oh, is that what happened, honey? Okay. The consistency thing. We thrive on that. We do. All fixed signs do. All fixed signs thrive on consistency. This person presents to you consistent, steady energy, so you have an idea of who they are, what they're about. Okay. So you saw them often enough to develop feelings. Expansion, I might add. This, how long you've known this person, I don't know. Six of Cups always has the implication of time built into it. Um, but yeah, given their steady pace energy, and I mean steady pace, consistent energy, Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. We got three, three here, all of them positive. Um, you react to this person slowly but surely over time. Your feelings developed because again, you're an emotional investor. You put emotional investment 
over the layers of consistent energy. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to have developed feelings. Okay. You're going to have developed feelings. Um, you know, you thrive on consistency. You do. Um, so I can kind of see what happened here. Now, I'm more interested in uh, Queen of Swords, sharp mind, yes. Good intellect, charming, witty. We forget that about the King and Queen of Swords. They have that sense of humor, that sense of charm, that sense of wittiness. That's the benefit of having a sharp mind. But I like to see more in their personality. I got the consistent thing. Beautiful. Slow. Slow over time, honey. You get it? That was a slow wheel of fortune. That was a slow wheel of fortune. Oh. This didn't happen overnight, obviously. Show me more about this Queen of Swords, please. Nope. Show me more about this Queen of Swords, please. Six of Swords. Mm. That's funny. You both show that. Why? Why are they showing a Six of Swords, please? Okay. That's interesting. Their energy suggests that they have also told themselves, although they don't quite believe it, to not develop feelings for you. So, you have feelings for this person that grew, but you keep quiet about it. You don't quite want to acknowledge. They keep telling themselves to not develop feelings for you, to leave you behind. That hasn't quite happened, has it? <laughs> Uh, quite the pair you two make, eh? I have feelings I don't want to acknowledge. Not because you're a bad person. It was just the development kind of snuck up on you. Okay. And they say, intellectually speaking, from a little bit of a cold side, don't develop feelings from Scorpio. Move on from Scorpio. Don't develop those feelings. They literally look forward to your energy in that way. Okay. Quite the pair you two make, eh? Mm, don't let this disturb you. I'm wearing my scar tape today. Okay. Um, the Knight of Pentacles. Just FYI. Yes, I had surgery, uh, you might remember, several months ago. And um, for those of you who've never had major surgery, you wear scar tape for some months out. Okay? It's all part of the healing process. Show me that Knight of Pentacles, please. Show me that Knight of Pentacles, please. Show me that Knight of Pentacles in it. I mean, still consistent. They told themselves to walk away from you, specifically Eight of Cups. Don't, and it's kind of like a don't, just don't move on from those feelings, move on from the feelings, move on from the feelings. Don't, don't, don't. And this person has a strong mind in that respect, but it's still slow going. So that tells me they've told them that themselves that many times. Show me that Knight of Pentacles, please, in the future. Show me that Knight of Pentacles, please, in the future. Seven of Wands, see, defensiveness, blockage, Page of Wands. They're taking a slow exit because they don't actually want to. Nine of Cups, underline. They don't actually want to, okay? Yes, there's resistance here to the connection. This person has very slow, steady energy told themselves to not get attached to you specifically. This is coming from a Queen of Swords space, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius for some of you. We also have some strong Earth energy here, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Um, here's the thing, they don't want to. They don't actually believe it, just kind of like you don't believe it. So you two are very similar in what you were experiencing. You know, there's parts of yourself that you clearly withhold and also parts of you that you clearly choose to not acknowledge probably because it's easier not to, okay? I know you feel it to some extent, but that's just the point. It's to an extent. You hide it on purpose. Your fire, you seem to be a lot more aware of, okay? I can't show this person my passion. Again, it's not for lack of feeling. It's because I feel it too much. I need to move on from that. Don't do it. Their energy says I should just block and guard against Scorpio all the time, all day, every day, still under that Knight of Pentacles energy. They tell themselves slowly but surely over and over again to not get attached to you, leave you behind. Don't get attached to you, leave you behind. Don't get attached to you, leave you behind. Don't develop feelings. The thing is, is that they have. You both have. Okay? 
there's still uh, this connection is not broken it's still active in the real world it's just slow as hell that's it it's just slow as hell it's not actually broken it's not over it's just really slow and they actively try to block the movement that is their emotional development see they went from you see how you went from a six to a seven the acknowledgement of this connection and how you have a variety of feelings for it all of them terribly strong they're like don't develop and I can tell that they said that to themselves many times Knights of Pentacles with the Queen of Swords this is our immediate upfront knowledge plus time they've told themselves this many a time okay the thing is is that they went from an 8 to a 9 yes they have feelings for you they block it they deny it they push it off or they try to set strong boundaries around their heart space that Scorpio can't get to me. And you're dealing with your own energy that says, I, I can't give them this parts of myself. Okay. You both have feelings for each other. At some point, the Ace of Pentacles dropped out. They would like to make an offer. They would, but then they resist it. Okay. There might be some sort of gift exchange coming up. I don't know. But, uh, there is this inner energy that says I have feelings despite my best efforts I try to contain them with my best efforts I would like to be a person of substance to Scorpio I would like to offer them something substantial I would, I would, I would so despite their energy wanting to move forward in a certain way that does not involve their emotions in fact the opposite is true in future I think they do their best to contain it I think they do their best to put boundaries around it but the fact of the matter is is that they have love for you too okay so you two have quite the story alright let's speaking of which where are we on time let's really wow I was not expecting I thought it was 20 minutes tops honey I have no earth in my chart so what happens is I have no sense of time. <laughs> That's why I have such an extensive calendar. <laughs> Everything's color coded. I was like, I look up, I think it's 20 minutes. Hell no, it was 47. <laughs> okay, let's get to it. Let's get to that shared energy, please. Eight of Pentacles, King of Cups, Ten of Wands. There you are. You two have a working energy. A lot of compromise, a lot of fair, a lot of share. Show me this, please. That's interesting. I have a feeling we're going to pull from that. I haven't used this one forever. The Casanova Tarot. That's an OG. I love it, but... <clears throat> I have not been called to it lately. Show me this Eight of Pentacles, please. Show me the Eight of Pentacles, please. Show me this Eight of Pentacles, please. Strength. Yes, I know. You two have a strong working connection. I see that. You also have a strong compromising energy, too. What else? Three of Wands. Oh, my God. You both enjoy it. Like a lot. You like each other's energy. You really do. You both anticipate it. You have a strong sense of back and forth. You both enjoy it. You both even thrive on it to some extent. You both benefit from this connection. There's that pleasure again. Nine of Cups. Nine and ten on the split. Change. Okay. Anything else, please? Anything else, please, for this uh, strong working connection you two have? 
that you both enjoy, anticipate, and contribute to. You work well together. Your energies work very well. And a lot of things unsaid. It's not just you, it's them too. You both share this. A lot of things unsaid. A lot of things unsaid between you two. Particularly where those feelings are concerned. Speaking of which, some of this King of Cups, please. Some of this King of Cups, please. Some of this King of Cups, please. There's a lot of love here. Like a lot. You both feel it, neither one of you talk about it. That's you. Isn't she beautiful? I always, this is probably, it's not the most realistic depiction of death, but I have to say it is the most beautiful. Mm. King of Cups. Once, twice, Knight of Cups. It's equal. Always pay attention to doubles and tarot. You both love each other and neither one of you expresses it. At least you didn't in the past. Whether or not that's changing, we shall see. This person has made clear efforts over time to tell themselves, not that they believe it, because they don't. Um, and I know that because the more you have to tell yourself to do or think or feel something, typically it's in reaction to what is the opposite, the truth. When you have to tell yourself over and over again, don't develop feelings for that Scorpio or whomever. Don't think about that Scorpio, just move on from them. It's because that person's struggling from the other side of things. So are you. In your own way. Stop feeling your feelings, Scorpio. Stop developing them. Don't don't acknowledge that change. Don't acknowledge it. Don't acknowledge it. Don't acknowledge it. Nope. 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 Signs from the universe. Eight of Wands hitting you with the tower. Nope. I'm not catching those wands. I'm not. I'm not. Clear lines of communication from the tower, i.e. The, the, the universe, okay? <laughs> the, the universe is hitting you with some eight of wands and Scorpio's like, I'm not trying to hear that. I'm not reading that email. I'm not opening that text. I'm not. I'm not doing it. I won't. Mm -mm. Nope. Mm -mm. <laughs> and yet, here it is. There's a reason you put your feelings under the moon. They have to. You both share that. You two have a lot of sharing principles. A lot of sharing principles. Um, your energies are highly compatible. They work very well together. You both anticipate each other's energy a great deal. You have emotional expansion. They say they don't or shouldn't or that they need to walk away from it. So in that respect, you two are actually quite alike. And then in the future, they try to, again, continue to set boundaries with their pleasure the hope and wish, the Nine of Cups, that they feel and experience with you. I think they're trying to open up to it more. The Page of Wands, that Nine of Cups. It's like, hey, can we can we take this a little more seriously? Can we give this a little more acknowledgement, please? And it's on a Knight of Pentacles, so this is a slow-going process for them to get past that Seven of Wands, to get past the defensiveness, to get past the blockage, and be more accepting of the cups that they naturally have for you, okay? In you, your 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 passion for this, the Ace of Wands that this person represents, the Knight of Wands that they naturally that you naturally react in them. Okay, you're like <laughs> you can't show that Scorpio. You cannot show them that passion. You can't. You can't. You can't. And that's what you're telling yourselves. And you're both telling yourselves relatively the same thing at relatively the same time. And there's a lot of time involved in this. But I do know this: energy doesn't lie. Energy doesn't lie. You both have a King of Cups towards each other. You both share an Ace of Cups. I told you that King of Cups holds the Ace of Cups. So too does the Queen. You're both people of substance. You are both people with very large heart spaces, and you both 
or in love with each other. Okay? So I don't know if that helps you or not. But with that Knight of Cups there, okay, I'm hoping I see more of the emotional expression between you two and also vulnerability. Knight of Cups just isn't about romanticism. Oh, romantic. Oh. No, it's more than that. It's our expression. And I can see that this person's energy is trying to do exactly that. Okay? They have consistent energy, and it's very smooth until it gets to their feelings. And that's when they kind of have a dodge thing. Okay? But something in their energy suggests that it wants to, it wants to open up and express itself better, even if it's slow, even if it's painful, seven of wands, <clears throat> even if they're resisting it, a part of them desires it, and I know that doesn't help you, and I know it's terribly vague, but like I said, you two experience very similar things at the same time, okay? It's just your approaches are different. That's it. But other than that, you two are very much each other's equals in terms of your feelings and what you both express and experience. Okay? You two have a phenomenal compromise structure. Not just compromise as in I give you, give. It's not like that. It's, um, there's a firmness here that suggests our two energies know how to work really well together. Like in this respect, in the 3D, you two have no hesitation. None. Both of your energies are like, same page, in the 3D. It's quite strong and it's well established too, so again, time is built into this. You two have a respective trust in each other's companionable energy. Right here. But when it comes to the emotions, you two are still on the same page. You're two still on the same page. You're still two, the two of you are still on the same page in terms of your expression and wanting to give more than you allow yourselves to. <laughs> but when it comes out, it comes out as, uh, no, no, it's not like that. It's not like that. No, no. The both of you, the both of you are like, that. no, no, it's not like that. No, you're just over here not wanting to acknowledge it and they're over here saying that they don't have it or don't develop feelings. I've got news for them. They already have developed. <laughs> they are, you know, again, if you have to tell yourself don't develop feelings, you, in fact, my love, already have developed feelings. So it's, that's, that's, that's typically how that goes. The fact that you have to keep telling yourself to move on from Scorpio means that you haven't, you know, and it's not an accusation. It's just... This person realize, doesn't seem to realize that they don't want to move on from you because their Knight of Pentacles is still there. And to their credit, they are trying to open up more towards their wish fulfillment. Nine of Cups, embracing that, you know. And you are like, I'm trying not to embrace my fire when it comes to this person. I'm trying not to act on that fire. I'm, I'm not. I'm not going to do it. Right? Okay, let's see what this is about. But yes, I have two people here who are very much emotional maturity, the both of you. You are both persons of substance. You are both in love. You both struggle with emotional vulnerability. Okay, opening up. Speaking the truth, it's under the moon. There's so many things you two don't say, particularly where your water's concerned. Okay? All right. Show me that Ten of Wands, please. Show me that Ten of Wands, please. This is calling me. Hold on. Show me that Ten of Wands, please. Strain? Burden? Absolutely. We'll see. Show me this Ten of... Yes? Show me this Ten of Wands, please. Show me that Ten of Wands, please. And yet you do it the Empress. You both do what you do because you both mean a lot to each other. I told you, you're both people of substance. 
You're an empress, they're an empress, but both of you might be. All I know is I'm seeing a lot of equal energy. Even the Ten of Wands isn't that great, it's still an equal energy. Ten. Eight. Okay. King and king for cup. You both do what you do because you both mean a lot to each other, in short. Even if it is strenuous sometimes with that energy between you two. And the fire felt and the feeling felt and everything said and everything not said, more to the point. Everything done and everything not done. Okay, it's, that's the reason, the long and short of it, you two do what you do, okay? Let's see, what else plays about this Ten of Wands? What else plays about this Ten of Wands? See, the Four of Cups. That strain between you two both causes you emotional dissatisfaction, not being able to say what you want and receive the love that you need and yet you both remain persons of equal substance in each other's lives. I told you there's no breakage here. The only Five of Pentacles I saw directly tied back to your passion with the Six of Swords attached to it, which means you are telling yourself to not show this person passion, not for lack of it, but because you have too much of it. Again, if you have to tell yourself, that's this person's energy, it's yours too, honey. The more you tell yourself that you don't have those feelings, or that you're supposed to move on, it's because it's coming from the other side. I told you, you two are very similar. You both experienced roughly the same thing. Okay. There's no ending here. There's no breakage. It's just uh, the willingness to keep going at this at this time because you both mean a lot to each other. But in so doing, yes, it creates that emotional chasm, the Four of Cups. Again, it's still an equal reference of um, I'm not able to express myself or give the love I want and need, but I'm going to keep doing it. I'm going to keep doing it because they mean a lot to me. Okay. And if, okay. In the interim, we continue to maintain the 3D balance of the Six of Pentacles. I told you, you two have a phenomenal working energy. And it's strong. And it's well established. You two interlock very well. In terms of companionability, being on the same page. But your actual emotional execution and the passion that resides within that, nope. Keep the balance. Keep the balance. And like I said, also, we're not giving up. We're not... It, it, I know, judgment. It does feel like that. It's, it's... But we keep doing what we're doing. We continue to balance up. We continue to work well with each other. It's just the... It's like you two are playing hide-and-seek with your emotions. Now, obviously, it goes much more beyond that. I, I know that this, for the both of you, is dying to break, th dying to break through. Because the thing about the responsibility of being the king and queen of cups is being emotionally mature, being able to say this is what I feel and thus I claim it. That's what emotional maturity is. Okay, you both have a huge heart space for each other and love within it. You both share it. And I hope you both get into that place where you can exude more of that emotional vulnerability and not just that companionability. Uh, because it, it is here. It is here. You both hold back in your respective ways. Why? Who knows why? There's a million reasons why. But you both hold back in your own respective ways. I would like to see something more conclusive, but I cannot. All I'm seeing is the um, immediate upfront energy. Okay. I know that there's something in this person that they would like to make it more solid. And you would like to express yourself towards this person too. But you both withhold in your own ways. More so and above all the feelings. Anything else in here, please? Anything else in here, please, for Scorpio? Three of Wands, there it is again. That anticipatory, you two. Three of Wands, three times for you both. 
the anticipation of each other's energy runs very high. So again, this obviously surpasses friendship. Okay, we don't just go around, oh, I'm really excited to see that friend. That's a hell of a friend. You know? That's a hell of a friend we're anticipating. And it's not just them, it's you. It's the both of you. What else, please? But confusion, two of swords. Indecision. Five of Pentacles, about the break. Nope. And will things ever change? Will things ever change? That's the question. Will things ever change? Oh, honey. Yeah. Will things ever change? I don't know. Tara doesn't dictate action, you do. Actually, the both of you do. You two are so very, very similar. And that's why. Six of Cups. You both show King of Cups. You both show Six of Cups. You both show Three of Wands. We would like things to change, we just don't know how. Okay. There's confusion here about the breaking Five of Pentacles. Are we going to part ways? Do we come together? Are we going to part ways? Do we come together? Okay. We want things to change into a place where we can be receptive to our Six of Cups, right? We always want to be receptive towards our Six of Cups. So yes, the desire to change, to make something more cohesive, to make the bond more cohesive is always going to be a desire, a drive. Okay. So if you always, why can't I just break from this person? You've both wondered that, obviously. I see you restricting your energy. Part of it you are aware of with that fire. Part of it you are unaware of with your growing feelings. And again, like I said, they have a similar process. Um, Empress again. So if somebody asked me why I use so many tarot decks so I can see repeating energies much more succinctly. Okay. I don't know. I would like to see more change as well because you both desire it. The Magician to the Six of Cups. You both desire it. So this question of what and can we get to where we need to be? Can we achieve that? What's, what's, what's going to happen? What's going to happen to us? What's going to happen to our connection right here? We both anticipate each other. We both want change. Of course. You're going to want to be with your soul bond and they're going to want to be with you. And this is why you both tell yourself certain things about moving forward, moving forward, moving on, just moving on, and why another one of you has actually been inclined to do that. I can see why you two are very much alike. You're highly compatible. You both get shit done. It's more than that. You two have, you're, the both of you are rocking a King of Cups for each other with the Knight of Cups in between you. But you're both showing Moon. When you're in each other's proximity, everything's easy and fluid. Except for what's spoken about the emotions. Okay. So I hope that you two, because you both hope for more. Let's make that clear. You both hope for more, not less. You both tell yourself less, but you're energetically speaking, you both want more. Okay. In this case, less is less and more is more, which is my preference. Less is less and more is more. You both say, we should have less, okay? When in fact you both want more. 
I don't think either one of you wants to break from the connection. You both actively choose to maintain the balance despite the hardship. You both love each other. Okay? And I hope we get to that point where we can openly claim what we feel is ours. Okay, anything else here, please? Let's do some time checks. I haven't seen any too many consistent time patterns in this other than the length of time that you two have known each other. What else, please? Time, please. Significant time. Significant time references only. Significant time. Okay. Upcoming. Next water sign. That is cancer season. Okay. So the Queen of Cups is here. Next water sign. Cancer. That is late June to late July. Possibly for some of you. Okay. What else, please? The Fool. When you so choose to open up. Oh, I bet you hate that interpretation. So the Fool has no point of reference. It's The, the Fool is zero. Literally the starting point in the Major Arcana in Tarot, okay? So literally, when you decide to open up... Ooh, I know. Some of you don't like that. Makes you uncomfortable. Christina, I went out of my way to hide my feelings for a reason. <laughs> this is not convenient to me. <laughs> <laughs> no, it never is, is it? But uh, whenever some of you decide to open up and take that risk, okay, bare minimum, expressing your emotions. Again, that's the obligation of being the king and queen of cups. <sighs> really, whoever. I got two queens under here. Whoever decides to display that emotional vulnerability to open up in that way, Okay, in order for there ex to exist that space of reciprocity, the back and forth, justice, fairness. I don't know that anything will come of it, but um, if one person opens up, the other person might be able to at least honor the expression, that kind of thing. Okay, and that's a scary thing, honey. Emotional vulnerability is scary. Oh yes, for some of you, summer. <clears throat> Leo season. Just the height of the summer, when the sun's highest in the sky. So, summer, upcoming. Again, time back to Cancer season. We also have Leo season here. For some of you, Justice, which I believe I saw that for you... Just... I said Justice season, didn't I? That was funny. So that would technically be Libra season. That is late September to late October for some of you. And then um, also, as well as November 11. Ah! That's funny. I just saw this and I said, oh, my birthday. <laughs> my birthday. My birthday is November 19th. And I just, I had that moment. I was like, oh, I was about to do some calendar dates here. So we have the 11th and the 19th. And I was about to say that. And I said, oh, November 19th. That's my birthday. That's great. So maybe it's confirmation. Mm. I don't know if it's a time check so much as a confirmation. But the 11th might be important, the 19th might be important, and these general time references, as I've said. Okay? Okay. October for some of you, and then also that Wheel of Fortune, when you understand that your feelings have expanded despite your best efforts to not do that. But things might be changing. All I know, if I were to summarize this, lovers, of course, June. All I know is if I were to summarize this, if someone was able to take that risk, that painful, painful risk, to open up and again claim their feelings, that's when we can see more energetic advancement. Okay, It's hard being that Knight of Cups. Think of the Knight of Cups as emotional vulnerability. I got two kings here who are dying to talk to each other in that way. Okay? to claim the love, to express the love, and get the hell out of that four cup stuff, okay? If you two are so terribly important to each other, you'll figure it out. Scorpio, that's enough. 
Put in the comments as you see fit. Take care. Be well.